Hey, what's up? I'm Chad. I'm Jordan. And we are from the band Newfound Glory, and you're watching the AU Review. Well, guys, welcome back to Soundwave. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. Thank you very much. It's great to be back. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get closer to you. Get, get comfy. Get close. Tell us, uh, tell us how the shows have gone so far. Well, I'll tell you. Well, Jordan. You hold the mic for me, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you that the shows have been awesome. It's been really great because we're uh, playing last on our stage, so we don't have to deal with the heat like everybody else does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's pretty awesome. It's weird though, like we've been here, we've had two side shows, Melbourne and Sydney last night. The side shows are amazing, but uh, there's only been two Soundwave shows for us so far. The one was Adelaide and, uh, and one was Melbourne. So they both were, Melbourne was obviously a lot crazier than Adelaide just because it's a bigger city, yeah. um, but both were, yeah, both were awesome. And now you're in Sydney, biggest show of all. You yeah, know, man. It's, uh, and, and you got some new music as well. It's your first time here, I believe, since Resurrection came out. Yep. So how are fans responding to the new music? The fans are responding great here. We, uh, we, we have a bunch of new songs in our set. And I remember Soundwave did this like kind of live chat um, with, with the band. And when we were on our last tour and I was on there talking to people and and everyone was asking like, what new songs are we gonna play and requesting mm. that, which is, which is cool. I feel like, you know, I feel like every album we offer something a little different. Um, we're still always New Found Glory and, and I feel like we're lucky because Jordan's voice is, uh, is awesome and is very distinct for us. So we can kind of like go anywhere with the music side of things and he always kind of like keeps us centered and you know what I mean? Like that, yeah. you know. I'll tell you what the secret is. You wanna know? They just kick me in the balls before we record. <laughs> and then like, that and then I just hold, pinch my nose, put a, put like some clothes pins on my nose, and then like, yeah. Then it, then it just turns into me. Yeah. You know? That's how they do yeah. it. That's how they do it. <laughs> learning learning from the masters. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think too. I was I was gonna say it was just like, the fans uh, are kind of like us, where we've been playing a lot of these songs for many years, mm. and they want to hear new songs live. You know, they don't want the same set. You know, we've done anniversary tours with, but we have so many different albums that other that certain fans like more than the others that they, yeah. they love hearing everything. It must be good to know you have fans who want to hear the new stuff as well. That they're not just, "I'll oh, play the old stuff, yeah. play the song yeah. from ten years ago." And of course, yeah. And I think it's also not being afraid to play the play mm -hmm. new stuff. I think a lot of bands that have been around forever will put out a new album and they'll only play a song off of it. Yeah. Uh, and to be honest, like uh, you have to. You have to commit to believing in your new songs just as much as your old ones. And I think that is infectious with fans. And we've been, you know, flying this resurrection flag pretty hard already. And it's definitely worked across the world. You know, I think our craziest show ever in in Italy was this last tour. And, and they sang uh, resurrection louder than the old stuff, which was pretty cool. And that's I mean, that's showing respect to fans as well. Yeah, that, that they care about your new stuff you, know, you are it's it's not just being daring in the sense that you think the songs are good enough but you respect the fans that they totally care about your music hell yeah of course and uh you are you are missing a drummer on this tour i understand he has uh had, yeah. the, had his first born on the same on his birthday as well or is yeah, it a, a, day, day, a day before his a birthday. day before his birthday yeah so that was pretty that was pretty cool um luckily you know we we have mikey filling in for cyrus can never fill cyrus's shoes completely but yeah. Mikey's awesome. He played in that band, Set Your Goals, and we've known them for a long time, so. It's been good. So he's kind of fit in, fit in easily. Yeah, he learned like over 20 something songs in like two <laughs> days. So. <laughs> Another really cool thing is uh, Mikey told us that uh, one, our record uh, is one of the records he learned to play drums from like years and years ago. Wow. So it's, it's pretty cool to, to hear that. And he kind of told us that like later too. Mm. You know what I mean? Like towards the, the middle of the tour is like, you know, so you know, like I learned to kind of play drums to some of these, you know, which is awesome, very flattering, because we love Mikey, he's a, yeah. he's a good friend, but to hear that, you know, made us feel good. So he's not going in blind. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah.